For centuries, fishermen around the world have told legendary tales of a fictitious sea monster similar to the giant squid, the Kraken. According to legend, the Kraken wreaked havoc on tall ships and rum-running vessels and had violent battles with its natural enemies. Today, your canvases all want their own tattoo of the Kraken in battle on their hands. Hands? There's a long list of problems with hand tattoos. Some hands are gonna swell right away. You got veins, bones. There are totally different factors when it comes to hands. And you must work in teams of two, tattooing both of your canvas's hands at the same time. What? What? The Kraken must be in black and gray, while the enemy can be in any color. You must use contrast to make your design dynamic and the battle crystal clear. Three hours left, three more hours. You're gonna need some background to create some contrast, you know what I mean? You're not gonna have any contrast if you fill it up like that. Just follow my lead, man. I want you to do exactly what I say. It should be black, you know what I mean? Contrast, contrast, contrast. Right. I know St. Mark can do contrast because he won't shut up. That black background will be the hardest contrast in the whole thing. I just wanna go to Vegas. We don't have time to argue. Contrast, keep that in mind. Shut the f up. Shark and tentacle kind of come together right there. So we want this tentacle to dip back this way? Eric's just working along with me. I'm just telling him, hey, do this, do that. I like to work alone. I like to win alone. I'm going to pull like a mid-blue around his head, and then I'll pull back the light blue so I reach you at the same time. I'm going to take the leadership role, whether he wants me there or not. One hour remains, final hour. What are you doing with the little suction cups? I am just putting a super light wash shading over them. I'm the female front runner in this competition. You think you'll have time to do a little bit of mint behind it? Yeah. I have to monitor Marissa's tattoo to make sure that we can win this. You're going to do your tentacles last, right? Yep. So okay. I can see yours. Yep. Dave is doing the sperm whale. It looks like a shoebox with an eyeball on it. It doesn't even look like a whale to me. I think it's a nice little playful whale. He's going to make me look like a fool up there. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. That's rad, huh? Awesome. We are done with this lady. What are St. Mark and Miami thinking doing two solid black hand tattoos on a soccer mom? That looks terrible. It's time to critique your work. Katie and Marissa, you're up first. I did the Kraken, Marissa did the shark. As far as contrast goes, I think the light highlights in the Kraken against the dark black, very, very nice. The shark is a little more rough. There's not a lot of vibrancy that really makes it stand out. Earl and Duffy. From a few feet away, it's very difficult to tell what's going on. It was hard to find a happy meeting with the background being that it's supposed to be like a dark scene. Darker blues on darker skin kills the contrast. Earl, as far as your snake, it's more of a fish. It's a big head and just a bunch of coils behind it. Damn, Earl, you need to stay away from these snakes. Go ahead and put it to rest. Eric and Chris. A lot of contrast on both sides of the fence and very legible. It's one of the best drawn tattoos we see today. You created a whole underwater scene happening here. Very cool, guys. MV and Keto. We went with a dark water and then in contrast, the really bright orange for the background. I don't think it's that bright. It goes from a darker tone from this side up to a lighter tone on this side. I don't think it adds much contrast to his skin. Oh, we thought we hit it with the contrast. Miami and St. Mark. You guys are two masters. How was it working together? We really brought the best out in each other. Technically, they're two strong tattoos. You have some very dark areas to contrast with the tentacle section you have up in the foreground. St. Mark, I do like leaving that front tentacle with no detail and just having the small suckers all the way up. Very strong design. Craig and Tyler. Overall, they're strong tattoos. The shark really stands out and looks strong. A lot of contrast. My problem with the Kraken, it's hard to see what's going on. You overshade it so that you lose some of the contrast. Tyler's my apprentice. He did exactly what I thought he'd do. It's just flat. It's boring. Matt and Big C's. I can definitely see what both of the objects are. The gorilla could have used a much heavier outline and a lot more black. On darker skin, more use of black, less use of gray is always what's going to last the longest. Cruzman and Dave. I like these tattoos. They're simple and bold. The thing that's just 
bugging me is the ending of the whale on the knuckles. The eye is outlined and finished out, but the shading stops higher than that. That's bugging me. My part looks awesome. I could strangle Dave Clark right now. He is 100% taking away the chance of me getting my first skull pick. The judges have decided the winners of today's Flash Challenge are... Eric and Chris. Very clear, strong imagery, mimicking each other's style. Very well technically applied. Thanks, man. For this Flash Challenge, you must tattoo one of the most delicate and sensitive areas of the human body. The palm of the hand. Oh. There are more sensory neurons on the palms than any other part of the body, and a larger brain area devoted to receiving their signals. It means your canvas will definitely be in excruciating pain. Getting your palm tattooed is one of the most complicated, serious areas. It's extremely painful, and it's not like normal tattooing. You must have flawless technical application, overwork the skin, and you'll damage it permanently. Underwork it, and your tattoo won't hold. Anybody have done it before? There is a right way to tattoo a palm, and a definite load of wrong ways. I don't know the technique. I don't even know where to start. And your time starts now. I'm Ryan, nice to meet you. <laughs> Double trouble right, right here, huh? Palm tattoos are incredibly difficult because the skin type is completely different. The only thing that stays on the palm is black. It's always being used, the skin's always peeling, always changing. Color with this thing is impossible. I'm gonna put you through so much pain for nothing. Palm tattoos are all about specialized technical application, and it's something that has to be deep. Anything around here where the calluses start to begin, mm -hmm. it will fall out. Today, Oliver and I are not gonna help whatsoever. This is something that either as a tattooer you know how to do or you don't, and we're not here to teach tattooing, we're here to critique it. Here's the thing with the hands, you gotta make it a little bit simpler. No, it's gotta stay closer to the realistic. There's no way she's not gonna do colors today. I'm just gonna have to do it. It says something when you have eight tattooers in a room and not a single one has their palms tattooed. Think about it. Uh, How bad could a palm actually be? You know? Pretty bad. <laughs> So, Kelly, when you did your palm tattoo, do you go in just kind of like... It's pretty similar to, like, lining, making my lines with stippling. You're a badass. I'm more than happy to help Nikki and Ryan. We just need one of the girls to get the skull pick. Hey, Kelly, where do you think I should stipple? Just, like, a little <sighs> under here? Yeah, that way it's, like... Got it. ...depth. Okay. Let's mm. do this. I am really proud of my ladies right now. Our canvases are all compromising on a realistic design. All these other canvases that got color and stuff in their palms, that is not gonna last. We are about to make these boys look like fools. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Oh my God. Little moment of pain for a lifetime of pretty. Sketchy gave her something that looks like she put her hand in an ink spill or something. What even is that? Are you happy? I'm happy. Okay, good. All right, artists, it is time to critique your work. Bone face. It's a smooth tattoo. If it was on a regular part of the body, that nice, smooth gray shading is a beautiful effect. But you can see the texture of the skin that has the fingerprint texture, you can see that shading is just sitting on top of that. That's the skin that dies in a tattoo process. So when that skin dies and leaves, the tattoo's leaving with it. So for that point, your technical application on a regular part of the body is fine. But in this challenge, it didn't hold up. Kevin. It would be questionable how it would heal. Typically, you're not creating enough depth when you just come with one pass, no matter how slow or how deep. So typically, it tends not to hold. And you see, when you try to outline on that skin, it's not like normal skin. When you run the needle across it, it just doesn't come out looking crisp, and it's gonna heal even worse. The judges are showing no mercy. I'm consumed by fear right now. Kelly. I really like the design. It's very simple. I like the approach. This is the way to do it. When it heals, it will still look like the world. Obviously, the moral of the day is that detail isn't going to hold. Color's not going to hold. So you can pretty much omit all that and just get in and get out. Thank you. Gian. 
What we're looking at right now is a beautiful tattoo, but I don't know what percentage is gonna be there when it heals. It's gonna be a very low percentage. So low that people are not gonna be able to recognize what it is. Nate. I've done a few palm tattoos. I know color's a bad decision to make, but... But you put color in them. I couldn't talk him out of it. The fact of the matter is, is that tattoo doesn't look great now, and it's not gonna look good later. Ryan. I know that to get a palm tattoo to stay, it has to be as simple as it possibly can be. I really like the design. I really like the simplicity of it, and I like the way it fits the hand. But the majority of your dots, you can see that they're just not deep enough. Chances are it's going to be the disappearing tattoo. Nikki. The approach you use on this tattoo is definitely the right technical application. The ones that stay, the ones that are done like this. Very legible, clean design. The placement. I do wish that you came down a little lower and made the flame a little more pronounced, but the execution is very clean. The route that you chose is the only route that will stay. Sketchy. I think it should stay pretty good. It's not. It's a huge black spot. And those lines, that's just a bunch of pain for nothing. It's hard to see what's going on. And looking up at it close, the detail is very scratchy. It's just a mess, man. I know that I'm a great tattooer. Getting put on blast, I'm not used to that and I don't like it. I mean, Jesus. All right, guys, today you had to show a flawless technical application by tattooing your canvas's palm. The winner of today's flash challenge is Nikki. Your tattoo did have the best attributes. Your design, very legible, very clear. Few people took the right approach. Ryan, Kelly, and Nikki. Those were the only three tattoos in the room that were actually doable. Mine did want a full color uh, well, planet I mean, Earth. Yeah, but a circle looking like Earth is definitely. It changed his mind into something that would work. Yeah, my guy wanted realism. Sometimes you get a good canvas, sometimes you don't. For today's Flash Challenge, you must design custom lettering from scratch without using any reference. Coming up with your own original font? Yeah, that's hard. There's so much room for error. And you must tattoo body parts so small but so visible, precision is absolutely necessary. The knuckles. Tattooing the knuckles is difficult because if you go too deep or if you blow it out, you're screwed. And if you don't get it in there deep enough, it's not gonna stay. Your knuckles are super visible. You can't hide them unless you're wearing a glove. Oh. Your time starts now. How you doing? Sausage. How you doing? Today, the stakes are the highest they're going to be. I'm just going to take my time and try and get the letters to all look like they go together. Precision's everything when it comes to knuckle tattoos. I want to do something that's full, that has a lot of little tricks in it. It is an awkward shape to stretch, an awkward shape to hold. You see a lot of tattooers not really sure how exactly to place their hand to be able to run a perfectly straight line. So I'm just going to take each individual finger and kind of wrap it like okay. this. Keep your hand as limp as you can. There's no hiding your hands if it's not done properly. You're All color. Yes. The hardest thing about this is that it's knuckles. Their color will almost just disappear super quick. There is absolutely no way I'm going to be able to do this in full color. If I can't get my canvas to change your mind, I'm in trouble. Man over there, no, what's the name? Which one? He's nervous. Yeah, he's nervous. Smell it, huh? Yeah, I'm not gonna see it all in this heavy, so. Now, I'm not opposed to putting color in there. I just want to put black in there. I didn't want it to be harsh. I like the, the colorful aspect of the tattoo. And I want to be able to give you what you want if we can be on the same page, and, and so that I can give a little, and then if you can give a little, then, we can, then we can hit this one out of the park. All right, ready? If it stings a little, that means it's working. All right, guys, one hour remaining. One hour to go. There's a lot of stress going into this knuckle tattoo because it's negative letters. Since you're making it negative, it's got to be like thicker parts in it, you know? I have to tattoo the outside of the finger and not the inside of the letters. It's still. I can't make them too small or too thin, or else it'll close up over time. Keep them real nice and clean. I have to be super careful. Normally, I trust my gut. After the bewildering critique I got last week, I'm second guessing myself. What do you think? This is lovely. I'm feeling a lot of pressure to live up to what everyone is expecting from me. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Machines down, no more ink. Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. It's definitely my style, so. 
Awesome. Where's Sarah getting her font from? A dumpster? I can't believe that Sarah is such a specialist that she can't even do letters. <laughs> Okay, artists, it's now time to critique your work. Maddie, when I heard the idea of the negative lettering, I wasn't quite sure how that would go, and I think you did a really great job here. I tried to be really precise with the lines. I used some stippling in the background so it doesn't get all muddied up as time goes on. The way you did this was the smart move. The stipple effect gives it a nice fade, gives him the negative approach that he wanted. Great job. Sausage, when you got here, you insisted no black. What happened? I listened to my artist. I think the color came out nice, but your line work is lacking some precision here. You have some discrepancies in some of the lines, where your lines in, some of them trail off, some of them in bluntly. Particularly on the bottom of the F, it just doesn't end as nicely as the I's or the R. Sausage is a bad tattoo. He just didn't make good decisions. He's totally screwed. Jimmy. One of the great tests of precision is when you have two of the same letters, keeping those letters similar, which you've done here with the S's, and it's delicate and feminine. I think it's exactly what you wanted. Christian. The most impressive part about your tattoo is how perfectly they line up straight across both knuckles. This is probably the straightest lettering of the day. Precision in this really is your application with your color. It's a good job. Thanks. Anthony. Your big lines are all bold and solid, but I gotta call you out on the precision. The consistency in the small lines is very wavering. You're spelling killer a certain way, so you're already dealing with something that's difficult to read, and then you got a very elaborate font there. Maybe not the most legible thing. Megan Jean. Your tattoos stand out really bold, and when you look at them close, they look very clean. There's only really one discrepancy on the way you did the traditional A's. You have the line going through the open part of the A instead of it just coming out from behind it. But I think it's very strong. These tattoos are gonna hold. Clean. They're definitely very strong, bold tattoos. The black is nice, a little bit of gray highlights give a finesse. You have three letters that you have on both fingers. You have the L, the I, and the E. They all match perfectly, which really shows that you're able to mimic your own lettering repeatedly. It's strong. Sarah. Some of the lines look a little more sculpted than others. The farthest right portion of the W is a little bit close to the center, so aging over time, you could have an issue there. And you missed the mark on the O's. The style of font that you chose made it very difficult to get those concentric lines on a finger. It just looked like a crappy oblong donut. Am I nuts? We're not looking at the same tattoos here. Why are they singling me out? The judges have decided the winner of the Flash Challenge is Clean Rock One. Clean, I think you really showed off today with precision because you match those same letters. You match the L's, you match the I's, and you match the E's in that hand style. And I think you did a really good job. I can't believe Clean won again. This is bull Head back to the loft and prepare to find out who you must battle next. Tattoos are forbidden by many religions. Many people won't get tattoos because it goes against their religious beliefs. However, today, you must tattoo your canvas's fingernails. What? what? I don't work at a nail salon, bitch. I work at a tattoo shop. Every drop of ink will permanently be embedded in the fingernail, but eventually, the fingernails will grow out. Dude, are you crazy? I'm not even 100% sure if this is even gonna work. You must demonstrate consistency by tattooing one design on five of your canvas's fingernails and another design on the other five fingernails. Micro tattoos are very difficult because they require extreme accuracy with every needle hit to create a clear design on a tiny canvas. One thing about fingernails, they are not consistent. I don't see anything about today being easy. And your time starts now. Hi, I'm Katie. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm nice Craig. To meet you. No tats, this is it, huh? The more basic that we go, the cooler it's gonna look because it's such a small space. I've done it to myself plenty of times when I was young, when I was learning. Oh, wow. I'd sit there and do little stuff on my fingernails to see really? how something would work. I bet I'm the only tattooer in here that's tattooed my own fingernails before. Chris is used to doing enormous tattoos. He may have a hard time doing these little micro tattoos with those big stumpy fingers. 18 years I've been tattooing and you are my first nails. Oh, right. I've definitely got this one in the bag. That's gotta be like the weirdest feeling ever. <laughs> 
My canvas wants little hearts and little ice cream cones. Have you ever done a nail tattoo? No. <laughs> I've never seriously tattooed a fingernail, but I mean, I can tattoo anything, anywhere. You're still here, so that's good. Oh yeah, no, kicking ass. Kicking ass. I just love the idea of a crescent moon. And I love the idea of like a planet with its like moons that, that are orbiting around it or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. My canvas wants an entire galaxy across her nails. I've never even tattooed one nail before. But the fact that it's a nail is freaking me out. You're tattooing over this hard surface that's rigidy and stuff. It's so gross. Like, I'm weird about nails. Now I'm just like, oh no. Sorry, you have enough time to do all of them. 30 minutes left, guys. 30 minutes remaining. What do you think about something like that? It's really pretty. A pattern is the best way to show consistency. I really, really need to work hard not to be in the bottom again. It's such a tight competition, and now that we're down in numbers, it's getting tough. I'm showing 10 beach scenes. The only thing that's not consistent with it is the positioning of the sun. So it's just a small thing changing where everything else is going to be consistent. I'm not bucking on the rules. I'm just using my creativity to help me get the skull pick. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> my first ever nail tattoo session. Craig tattooed a different image on each one of the nails. We're supposed to be doing consistency. All you have to do is tattoo the same thing on each nail. So do it, don't make your life hard. You're stupid. It's time to critique your work. Let's start with Tyler. Tyler, I think it's an excellent job. Very strong consistency. The line work is very clean. The color fills are very smooth and solid. All the highlights that you have in every ice cream cone, the little blue dot on top, the placement on each fingernail, I think you did a good job. Chris. Doing the full set of nails, as it grows out, she'll steadily have a style on there for a longer amount of time than just having a little sticker. Overall, I think the consistency is strong. Eric. They look very crisp and very sharp. That's perfect size ratio for the nail. That follows consistency very well. The only inconsistency I see is a couple of stars have a little bit different tone and shade of purple than the others. Duffy. Out of all the different looks that you have, the ones with almost the half moon circles are really the most interesting. The ones that align the same way are very consistent. The application and technique is all very strong. Cruzman. As far as the floral design, I think it fits the nail very nice. Kind of tricky with the spider web. That's where you kind of lost the consistency. You see a lot more changes and wavering details in the spider webs. Matt. The anchors came out very consistent. The ship wheels was a tough thing to deal yourself. That's where your inconsistency show a little bit. That's a tough spot to be in to have to do that many circles on fingernails. Katie. These came out really cute. The moon and star, every other finger is a really nice idea. The line consistency and the color consistency, I think it's nice. But as far as consistency goes, the shapes of the moons do vary. Craig. None of these are the same. What's going on there? I thought it would be cool to do a night beach scene that transforms into a day scene. As far as the whole concept of consistency, each design is a little bit different. They alternate finger to finger, and that's a fail. I'm super pissed. I'm not breaking any rules here. There is something consistent throughout the whole design. It's bull Today, you had to tattoo matching designs onto your canvas's fingernails. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is... Tyler. <laughs> That's so funny. Tyler, overall consistency, yours were super sharp, super clean. The color, each one looked almost exactly the same. Came out on top. 